Hello everyone, and welcome to my UK Royal Family News Channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the Demira House, Gabby's initial wedding gifts, including coordinating tactical armor carriers with a card from Julie that peruses together forever. The doorbell rings and it's Lai. She requests to understand what he's doing there, and he offers her a wedding gift. What is it, a bomb? Lai says he'd never harmed her, and he didn't have anything to do with Harris capturing. He was trusting that now that she's hitched, they could be companions. All things considered, he didn't attempt to stop the wedding or murder the husband-to-be. She doesn't buy whatever game he's playing. She simply needs him in prison. Yet when he says it will not work out, she inquires as to whether this is on the grounds that you're screwing the DA. That is coarse, yet in addition wrong. He's not screwing her. She punches that perhaps he was trusting he'd be so great in the sack, Melinda wouldn't arraign him. Lie demands he's simply crushed and attempting to continue on, so they don't need to do this argumentative thing any longer. She pummels the entryway on him. At the DA's office, Stefan jumps in to request when Melinda will take care of the one who attempted to kill me. She attempted as of now, yet Harris pointed at Megan and Rolf. Lie didn't have anything to do with it. Stefan demands they know it's false, yet Melinda brings up they need verification, or her options are limited. Stefan, however, contemplates whether she's getting along on the grounds that she's dating Lai. Woman informant has warned the town that the two were canoodling. No, Melinda says, that first date was a dumpster fire. The second, accidental date worked out in a good way, yet the third one failed spectacularly. All things considered, I need to say, it was fairly decent having my sentiments returned for once. Stefan tells her to inventive to get a conviction. Anything that she can inside the law. Stefan returns home and shows her Lee's gift he found at the front entryway. Stefan guarantees her Lee's not sufficiently idiotic to give them a bomb that can be followed to them. He shakes the gift. And it begins ticking. Over at the eatery, Lee finds Melinda and tells her he is into her all things considered. Wendy felt that perhaps Melinda was attempting to trap him, yet Lay couldn't get it somewhere far away from me. He is sorry and inquires as to whether they can begin once again. In any case, he's blameless and doesn't have anything to fear from her, right? Melinda streaks back to Stefan's idea and guarantees Lai that she trusts he's honest. She inquires as to whether he believes that should do this, and he streaks back to Gabby proposing he could lay down with Melinda to hold her back from indecting. Back at the Kyriakis house, Maggie's going to educate Xander concerning Sarah's pregnancy at the Kyriakis Manor when Justin comes in with the news that Victor's plane is absent. Everybody's stunned, except subsequent to pausing for a minute, Maggie attempts to explain. What do you mean missing? How might it be absent? She takes a stab at maintaining a reasonable level of control as she inquires as to whether Justin thinks the plane crashed. Justin demands they can't rush to make judgment calls. All things considered, Victor didn't document a flight intend to attempt to stay quiet about Bo's area for Megan. Maggie doesn't have the foggiest idea where he was. However, she takes a stab at calling. It goes directly to phone message. Xander has a go at encouraging her that he could in any case accompany Bo. Perhaps he emerged from her unconsciousness. So Maggie calls Sean to get Trust's number and find out. Sean gets back to let him know Victor's not with Trust. He left as of now, three days prior. Trust doesn't have any idea where Victor was, however neither does Maggie. He should be home today, not three days prior. Where could he have been? Justin calls Shane for replies, who vows to investigate it. Maggie sends Alex and Xander home. She's fine with Justin and Bonnie. They'll refresh everybody. Xander solaces her and leaves, after she professes not to recall everything that she was going to say to him. Over at the Brady Bar, Beauty updates Sean on what Kristen needed, and she updates him on the Brady slash Rachel show. She and John are expecting to damnation he doesn't accomplish something rash. She then, at that point, lets Sean know that Xander proposed to Chloe. He's frightened. 
and the two can't help thinking about what's going on with her, that she's actually open to the choice. Beauty feigns exacerbation and enlightens Sean concerning her and Chloe's battle. They consent to praise his advancement when Maggie calls with the news that Victor's absent. He calls and leaves a message with trust yet demands there's not an obvious explanation to overreact yet. She gets back to and says how he left three days prior. Yet he was ambiguous and occupied when he left. Something was burdening him. He ought to have been told Maggie going on, yet he's never been known to think about other sentiments. However, consider the possibility that something happened to him. Sean would feel horrible. They haven't spoken in months. Beauty tells him not to go there and Sean says she's right. He simply trusts they find solutions soon. Brady, in the interim, is locking lips with Chloe until she drives him away and needs to understand what on earth he's doing. He is sorry, and once more, after she shouts, he raises Sanders' proposition and the likelihood that he can in any case convince her not to wed that wet blanket. She lets him know he's off the mark. Yet Brady helps her to remember the horrendous things Sanders finished. Fine. However, so what? They've both done horrible things as well. Brady counters with what happened to Bonnie and Susan, yet she says his lament is veritable. He can be difficult and self-important and rash. However, I've likewise become more acquainted with a man who's caring and delicate and tunes in. Yet, when Brady inquires as to whether she's infatuated with him, she can't reply. Their science, however, is still there for him, and he realizes he felt it as well. Like when he constrained a kiss on her. They love one another, so time to tell Xander bye. No, they had such a large number of deterrents, Chloe says, and nothing's different. Before he gets to informing her concerning Rachel, Chloe advises Brady that she's continued on and needs to accompany Xander, in any case. She doesn't have any idea yet assuming she'll wed him, However, all she can offer Brady presently is kinship. He vows to make an effort not to continue to push. On the off chance that Xander's what she needs, he'll attempt to acknowledge. They shake on being companions once more. In the show's most recent couple of minutes, Stefan hauls the present out subsequent to dunking it in water. The two support for a clock. Gabby says that Lee told her that in Chinese culture, Giving a clock as a gift was equivalent to wishing them dead. Melinda and Lee tease, each with ulterior intentions then, at that point, she gets some information about Gabby and Stefan wedding. It hurt yet, it assists with having an entrancing, ravishing lady sitting opposite me. He gets some information about her waiting affections for Stefan. And she inquires, Stefan who? They toast to one another beginning once again and not any more secret plans. Brady is going to leave when Sander gets back home, protesting about his cousin attempting to work Chloe out of marriage. Brady concedes he's right, yet he fizzled. Sander stops him, however, and lets him know Victor is absent. Maggie tells Bonnie she doesn't have quite a bit of a hunger and goes to lie day. Justin vows to wake her with news assuming that she nods off. She leaves and Alex concedes that this appears to be more or less terrible. He embraces Justin and Bonnie farewell. Yet, similarly as Bonnie is going to pass on to mind Maggie, Shane calls. The Coast Guard found destruction from the Titan fly in the Mediterranean. No word on any survivors. Justin and Bonnie embrace as they attempt to maintain a level of control. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.